Hi, I'm Jerry Gibbs, and today I'd like to introduce you to this range of dehumidifiers from Ecor Pro. Desiccant dehumidifiers are fundamentally different from refrigerant dehumidifiers. A refrigerant converts the, the moisture that's in the air to a liquid where it can be pumped away or discharged into a bucket or a drain or a sink. But desiccant dehumidifier doesn't do that. It produces a humid air outlet out of this exhaust. And that humidity has a very high dew point. Condensation gathers easily in here. So we need to understand this and we need to protect the machine against it. And some questions were asked about this. Where can we discharge this high humidity? Well, logically, we would put that out through a window, out from the affected area and into a large volume or large void space. We could push this out through the cap flap through the front door. We could push it out through the window. We could push it out through a letterbox. If necessary, we could ventilate this into a large, well-ventilated room that could cope with the excess moisture that we're going to put into that. The length of this duct is also quite critical. This is a standard length of duct for this machine, which varies according to the capacity of the machine, but we really don't want to exceed that. To add more duct into this increases the resistance of the air moving through that, and that's going to slow down this air. Slowing down this air directly impacts on the performance of the machine. So ideally, we'd like to try and keep this ducting as short as possible. We'd like to also try and keep the ducting horizontal, but if the ducting needs to go vertical, we need to understand that any condensation in there would run down the inside of the pipe. We'd try and prevent that, but if it happened, we would want to try and fit a suitable condensation trap device to capture it. Ideally, we should prevent the condensation from forming on here in the first place. And the way to do that is to keep the air around the pipe warm. If we can't keep this air warm, the next best solution would be to insulate the duct in to prevent the condensation from forming in the first place. Logically, it would be better to keep this pipe short and keep the air outlets from this machine longer because the dry air can be pumped a considerable distance and this one can't. This machine has only one fan, one driving fan, which is taking the air from the ambient in through the wheel, filtering it and blowing the dry air out. And a percentage of the dry air is turned back in the machine to dry the wheel to drive the humidity out. So this machine runs in balance with its inlets and outlets. If we restrict the air coming out of the exhaust, that's going to directly impact on the air coming out through the, the dry air outlet. It's going to reduce the dry and effectiveness, effectiveness of the wheel and significantly reduce the, the performance of the machine. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. For further information, please see one of the many tutorials we have available online.